Hello and good morning guys and welcome back to Milau. Uh, about that, it's not pronounced Milau, it's pronounced Mio. Or something more like that, I'm sorry. I, I knew this actually before I got the comments about it, but... Uh, uh, I got really helpful comments uh, that, that said that uh, my pronunciation was incorrect or wrong. Uh, French language can be more complicated, especially for foreigners like me. Uh, it's more complicated than it seems sometimes. Uh, sometimes I guess it's easier, but anyway, I'm gonna try to adhere to that, Mio, but I'll probably say it incorrectly uh, many times uh, yet to come. Um, I think the series still, like, so far the series will be called Milao or Mio. Um, it will have the same name because I just like the name and it's the map, it's the large bridge, it... I've gotten sort of uh, really stuck with it, like I have Stockholm Syndrome by now, but I did get a really really good comment from Mr. Whale 4475 in the first episode that the first that I want to sort of use, and I want to rename this first town here, uh, Rayon. I don't know how to pronounce that either, if, but it's supposed to be a like, very nice, meaningful, uh, like it's a ray of sunshine. Uh, this village is a ray of sunshine in an otherwise chaotic world. It was very poetic, I loved it, uh, and uh, it just makes sense. Uh, so this is the village of Rayon. And I'd imagine this is also like the valley of Rayon and like the river as well, like it, it all like the same. This is the Rayon region, the Rayon, 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 Rayon part of the map. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, yes, so thanks so much uh, for that. I keep the naming suggestions coming. I, I love it, by the way. Um, uh, when we are here... I might as well talk a little bit about another like really good comment uh, that said uh, maybe it's a bit too dense for like maybe we should try to make these sort of rural areas less dense and this is something I thought a lot about when building it as well so and I have a plan I've been thinking about this like if we just sort of if we just commit and say sort of like expand the town slightly by just adding like houses seemingly randomly out on these sort of outer parts of the town. I have a theory that that's gonna sort of do the trick. Um, please hold. And you can see I'm, I'm actively, at least I'm trying to not place them as close to each other. Um, as I as I've otherwise done in the in the town proper. Maybe maybe one more or so. Maybe something out here. And uh, I think we could also we don't need to upgrade this street. Uh, we could do it. Actually, we're not doing it. We're keeping it like that. I like that. Um, but I do want to change the houses. It should be like bigger sort of lots in general, like bigger houses, more farm, more farm-like, <laughs> if that makes any sense. I don't know. Maybe something like that. It sort of creates a more natural transition to the, the farmland. And uh, I can do a bit of tree painting here to fix the trees that I've always clipped the buildings mostly. But, but also sort of to, uh, I guess, enc enclose them a little bit. You would have a lot more trees and vegetation around uh, these houses that would otherwise be in the middle of a field. So... Just kind of makes sense and it hides a bit of a terrain stuff that we're gonna try to fix also with a, a few like uh, go a few goes at it with the terrain brush uh, hmm maybe one more house here to be honest i didn't expect to come back and that's a lie i i did expect to come back and upgrade this village actually i i was uh, 
I, I don't think we should ever like consider anything finished, right? We should always like just go back and and sort of evaluate and like, yeah, we can improve this. Um, I mean, don't get me wrong, I want to finish this, uh, this city and uh, get progress on the build, but this is like a part of the process and just getting there uh, by doing this is, uh, you know, just improving what we've done. It's, it's, I don't know. I guess uh, it's just what I do, so it's 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 going to be like that, uh, whether it's, it's good or bad. I don't know. Maybe a bit too many trees in some places. I mean, we do actually have a tree anarchy, so we could even um, put some trees closer to the actual houses, like inside of the footprint. Something like that. And uh, I just, I guess I just wanted to talk about this. This is like stuff I, I could consider like going back like off camera and just doing stuff like this uh, or, or like on on a stream even or something like that. I really want to do like YouTube live streams now and um, like more sort of low, uh, low intensity sort of progress, I guess. But you see, it's instantly better just by adding like a few more houses on two random roads. So, uh Yes, today's episode, oh, the second episode, of course, I, if you haven't seen it yet, is we build this road and this um, gas station, which is, uh, turned out to be much more, much more of a detailing build than I expected, but I'm kind of happy with it. Uh, I'm, I mean, really happy, I'm really happy with it, I shouldn't say kind of, selling it short. Today... I did promise to build in this area here, and this is uh, super exciting because this is already on the outskirts of town. This will be like directly, it's going to be in the same sort of road system. So we will have like paths and like, we will have, we will have sidewalks pretty much all the way into town from here. Um, I don't know if we'll actually have sidewalks, but we might have like a separate uh, bike path like going next to the road. Um, but this will be like a pretty dense area of like with warehouses industry um a, a water sewage treatment plant and um, and uh, this will also be the main sort of uh, garbage facility dump place of the town i actually the more i think about it maybe it's not going to be the main maybe we could put the landfill somewhere else in like some sort of secluded valley somewhere just hidden away out of sight out of mind but um, like basically services and utilities we desperately need them because we all we right now we only have them like on the edge of a map uh, in a very awkward location so so that's what's going to happen now um, the sewage treatment plant is definitely going to be here uh, there's going to be some kind of cargo rail thing here I think one of those new warehouses uh, that has like the train tracks going straight into it which is good because that means I can talk about that a little bit as well. I have some theories of how to use that good. Um, we're going to have a roundabout here. We're going to build build our first roundabout from scratch um, around here. Uh, and the reason why it's going to be a roundabout is because uh, we want one road accessing this area here. And I also want one road accessing the hillside here eventually. So... This might be a residential area. This might be, I mean, whatever we really need it to be, but um, yeah. So we're going to start by doing that. This is so exciting. Okay. Entering time lapse. So I asked uh, the TTS bot in my Discord to pronounce Mio, and this is how it's pronounced Mio. At least according to the Discord TTS bot. Um, uh, by the way, guys, uh, join the Discord. It's uh, like a really fun place. I, I'm I'm there all the time. Uh, there's so many uh, uh, like equally minded nerds such as ourselves uh, that know so much about the game. It's it's really funny. Like we we're speculating a lot about currently City Skylines 2 and uh, and just uh, if you have like pictures uh, of of cities you've built, like please post them. I'd love to see them. Uh, I'm especially uh, interested if you're building on on like one of my maps. I, I love to see pictures like that, and uh, it makes me very happy. So, if you don't mind, uh, join me Discord. The link should be in the description. Um, 
So, what I'm building right now is I'm building a road, like I'm just planning out the road network for this, uh, this new industrial area, and it's going to change a lot of time. In general, like this episode, don't get too attached to anything. I kept uh, almost everything I recorded in, uh, because um, uh, I kind of had a crash in the end, so I lost some stuff, so I thought, you know, might as well just keep everything in and, and have it a go a little bit quicker instead. Um, but there's a lot of back and forth, like, like you'll see the process of like how something maybe doesn't work and maybe does work. You just have to s test different things eventually, and you find something that that works. Okay, so now we're placing this railway uh, station. I need to say what I did there. Oh my goodness, I used I used the move it mod to to straighten out the track. If you hold down Alt while uh, selecting uh, with Move It, it lets you touch networks and move networks that are built into buildings. It's really, really useful trick, and uh, I n I've never used it on this building until now. But I knew that I wanted to do it, so that's that's what's happening there. And uh, and now, of course, this is so much quicker than I expected. But uh, now we're doing the bob. We're bobbing out some bushes here and there. Um, because how we moved the track, it was intersecting some bushes, so... Bob is a great mod, by the way. Um, I use it way too little, but I, I would love to learn and uh, get better at it and... Um, and show you guys the tricks, because there's so many cool tricks that Chameleon has been telling me about that I, I need to sort of test and... Uh, yeah. Oh. And also Alison, shout out to Alison Lopez. Alison uh, recently showed me the most... Uh, Biggest brain trick with Bob that lets you place boats, those vanilla or off the dark boats, um, as floating assets in the water. It's it's kind of incredible. Um, <laughs> like in general, if you guys have any sort of thing that you would want me to do, like a maybe a shorter video or like a tutorial on, like anything, like if you, I've been thinking about, like maybe I should do like a cul-de-sac tutorial, like how I like to do cul-de-sacs, or maybe some kind of my top 10 or my top 5 tricks with move it that I like to use and stuff like that like let me know in the comments I'd love to hear uh, uh, your suggestions like on, on those topics um, this is progressing so quick like in the beginning I remember this was it felt like oh my god I'm gonna record this it's gonna be like 10 minutes long it's gonna be finished but it ends up uh, the footage ends up being around two minutes two hours and 40 minutes I think so it was Eventually quite a long build anyway, a bit longer than the, the village build. Uh, I still think that was very well spent time to be honest though. I, I'm, I'm really happy with all the changes like back and forth and all the testing. Like uh, even the sewage treatment plant, I move it a few times. Um, but I like move the buildings around but it, it eventually just turns out great. So um, <laughs> hopefully you will like it as well. Uh, what I'm doing with the sewage treatment plant is I'm using like one of each building because uh, of the inland sewage treatment pla plant assets because it becomes less repetitive that way, I feel. Uh, I feel like using the same buildings over and over otherwise risks becoming a bit too repetitive. So that's why I'm using one of each. And this should be enough for whatever city we build. Like it, We shouldn't really need more sewage treatment than that, I think. <laughs> well, hopefully anyway, that's that's... It's a big if. Uh, yes, I just briefly mentioned. Yeah, my game actually crashes at the end of this build. It's uh, kind of weird. I had a few weird crashes recently. I don't know what it could. Uh, what is the because? Maybe it's because I'm recording and doing a lot of other intensive stuff at the same time. But generally, my game is pretty stable, and I, I don't have that many uh, issues with it. So it should be fine in the for the future. Um, not too worried about it, but. and I didn't lose that much because I did enable auto saving again. Uh, auto saving is such a lifesaver, and uh, I can just recommend it. Like it's one of those things. Sometimes your game might crash because of auto save, but it's so much worth it because you will only lose like ten minutes of progress instead instead of like ten hours or whatever it could be if you have a very intense session. Uh, I should mention the big building I placed there. It's not a super obvious, like the big uh, garbage uh, treatment building. It's actually a monument. Like it's one of the, it's probably the only monument I regularly place because it looks really realistic. Um, like as a garbage 
treatment facility. It's really functional as well. Like it produces, it uh, it spawns so many garbage trucks. It's you don't really need any anything else in your city, but um, for garbage. But now I'm playing around with the idea of of actually just adding more garbage buildings around it to make it more of a complex, which is something I try to do a lot. And the thing, I will be struggling with this for a long time and in, in multiple parts of the video, but I'm trying to make a sort of a drop-off, um, a drop-off point for like, you know, you would go to this uh, recycling center and just drive around this loop, maybe. I, I, this is going to be different in different parts of the world, but here in Sweden, we often have these sort of, uh, recycling centers usually like in the middle of a forest and there's a uh, there's a loop you would go around and there's lots of containers lining the, the side of it and um, and you would just sort of throw whatever stuff it says on on that container like this is oh this is the wooden stuff this is the metal stuff and this is old furniture and stuff like that. I, I, so i'm playing around with the idea it, it's going to turn out pretty good but it's it's going to look very different i actually eventually did end up using the recycling uh, the recycling center building in it as well so a lot of the time in this build I will be using move it to move the buildings further towards the water to get more space so it's like uh, everything is just sort of slowly creeping and creeping outwards it's kind of uh, it's kind of funny actually but sometimes you just realize you need more space and you see that abandoned farmhouse there by the where the recycling center is recently that's that's going to be moved a few times also and i feel kind of bad for i hope nobody lives there i hope it's really abandoned because it's i actually end up uh, accidentally deleting it and having to sort of <laughs> copy it back in because i felt so bad so uh, yeah um i have a i've started to think about more how to do these videos and like i have a list of topics that I would like to talk about. I often, often forget topics uh, anyway, but uh, one of the things I've been talking about is I before C City Skylines 2, I will need to upgrade my PC. Um, I don't, I have a very old CPU still. I have a CP a 4770K, I believe it's called. Um, it was really good. It still is really good, but it's very old by now. Um, so unfortunately, it's outside of the sort of minimum requirements for City Skylines 2, so I, I will have to upgrade that relatively soon before the game launches. Um, which, when you upgrade CPU, you often have to upgrade the uh, motherboard and RAM and stuff like that, which is a little bit of an inconvenience, but I mean, it had to be done someday. Like, I've had this comp computer basically the same since 2013, so it's a very... It was a very beefy computer back then, and uh, but... Um, it's it's given me good value, so I'm it's kind of I'm ready for the next uh, sort of upgrade. That's that feels good, and uh, um, and hopefully that, like I don't know if that's gonna happen during this series. Maybe we can get some better graphics in this series and better sort of visuals because I was I have also been noticing it's it's stuttering a lot and lagging when I'm trying to record cinematics. It's probably gonna get worse as the city grows. Uh, hopefully it's not like too big of a pain to watch anyway, but. Uh, I mean, that's uh, something, uh, yeah, it would be nice to see, like, uh, maybe maybe it's going to help my City Skylines 1 performance also on upgrade. Who knows? Yeah, uh, so I've been putting down a few warehouses since last, now some parking lots and a fire station near the, near the roundabout we started by building. Uh, yeah, and, and now I'm starting to play around with Avanya. Uh, you uh, industrial evolution uh, uh, content creator pack the newest uh, content creator pack uh, from the newest round of content creator packs and I think this is such a great pack for industry especially if you zone industry uh, I'm, I'm placing them one by one here I don't know how long I'll be able to keep that up to be honest there at some point we I just need to start zoning for the scale of things to work but so far like with these limited builds it kind of works Oh, excuse me. I've been talking too extreme. My voice is already cracking up. This is not good. Ah, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Maybe it's all the coffee. Maybe it's just too little coffee. Yeah, it is what it is. Um, yeah, so I ev eventually did get a crash in the end, but I didn't lose that much. I was able to, like, rebuild it, but 
there will be no like final live play in this video. It's uh, it's all time lapse to the end until the moment of crash and. Uh, but I was, I, was, I was able to rebuild the last couple of things that got lost, uh, like, out, off, off camera, so... I rebuild them, like, slightly better, but it's basically the same. You'll see, you'll see a little bit of it in the cinematics, uh, uh, and maybe I'll be able to talk about it while it's happening. Or while we're seeing it, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, maybe, maybe I should talk over the cinematics. Maybe, maybe I shouldn't, I don't know. This video, video thing is, is hard, you know. Um, I did want to talk a little bit like about basically what this sort of this plot of land is doing it's it's very much a collection of industrial land uses and and uh, and services and I love to do that like collecting them and putting them together because a lot of the time that's how you would have it I that's that's pretty realistic I feel it's pretty realistic I don't really have any sort of source for it but you would put all the stuff that's sort of dirty and grimy and messy together and, uh, I don't know, it just feels right. Oh, and here I start messing around with the uh, unique factories. I completely forgot about Industries DLC and uh, I'm gonna remake large parts of this build uh, with Industries DLC in mind. Um, with unique factories and actually this whole area is going to be an oil industry area. For the simple reason that these unique factories need plastic and petroleum to function. Uh, I don't really want to have a big uh, oil industry area on this map because I don't think it's super realistic. So, I but I do uh, eventually build a pretty small, compact design. It will, I'll talk about it when we get to it. Um, so the factories I'm choosing are the what's it called? Uh, pla household plastic factory and I think the cloves factory which I place down right now. Um, zooming out occasionally when placing these big factories is a good idea, so you can sort of see the... I mean, see how it looks from a distance, like, because these these are big, like, huge scale stuff that affect the... how everything looks a lot, so... Um, I'm really sort of uh, jealous of guys like Palms Time and uh, Dirty H who are able to record building uh, like in a very very sort of satisfying and Imperator as well to some extent like who are able to record uh, with the camera sort of fixed and like in a very sort of comfortable position. I can't do that. Uh, that's very hard. I, I constantly zoom in and out a lot when, when playing this game. Um, it makes less sense. It's it's worse for the recording, I think. But it's it is what it is. I I'm, I'm trying to improve the style, but uh, I'm not gonna change too much like in an instant because then I'm just gonna get burned out. I think so. We're taking some. We're taking small steps, uh, one step at a time. <laughs> um, yeah. I like to have like. Uh, I talked about like complexes, but like for example, like just having a, a road that turns off like that to the, the fire station, I think it's a really neat trick to get, um, yeah, to create like lots and and complexes that are different size, that are off the grid, that aren't sort of perfect squares or rectangles anymore. You can create like different shape uh, buildings and complexes by. By playing around with like these sort of small roads that turn into them, and there's a lot of a lot of that in this episode actually. You can see it in the sewage treatment plant to some extent, even though it's pretty square right now. You can definitely see it in the garbage, uh, the garbage facilities. Um, I'm trying to my best to make it non-square, and eventually I go back and um, and fix up the fire station so it's a little bit uh, more uh, uh, like a little bit more of a complex adding some fences and stuff like that so here I accidentally messed up I didn't know that the warehouse building actually had two road connection points so one of them is disconnected I don't know how this building works it might be that it, I'm completely misunderstanding it uh, but I just realigning the roads for that to take that into account I don't know if this building will act as a uh, 
a cargo train station and a warehouse like separately or if it does one of the things I, i'm i'm a little bit uh, curious to see it. it i haven't seen any trains actually use it yet so we might have to go back and revisit this and figure out what what's going on with it uh, uh, as i said i haven't used it before it's uh, kind of kind of exciting <laughs> in a way yeah, and here i'm playing around with the airport uh, roads and seeing if they would work for this industrial area like the concrete roads and testing like just mixing roads and road sort of textures like that in industrial areas i think is a pretty good uh, mix for pretty realistic aesthetics just making it a little bit more messy than it um, maybe than it should be Because, I mean, industrial areas are often, like, messy and grimy and stuff like that, so. And complicated, and, uh, This is not a part of, the, like, the street grid. Like, the, the municipality doesn't really care so much about this concrete dead-end road going into this facility, so. It would mostly be the local businesses and industries that uh, have an interest in maintaining it, and, uh, or the obligation, even, um. Yeah, that rail junction, I don't think... I do fix that rail junction off-stream, or off-stream, off-camera, uh, off-video. Uh, I might show the way to do that later. It's a bit of a, um, a node controller mess and, um, and IMT trickery. Um, I kind of have a video on that already. I think it's called, like, Ultimate IMT train tram guide something something there's 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 so many uh, things you can do with imt for train tracks um but i i made a video of that last year that doesn't show exactly the same because i used the used uh, another different mods back then which reminds me i i oh my goodness i yeah i I should talk about the elephant in the room. I'm using the new node controller again. Um, I'm using NCR. I figured out my differences with it. Uh, uh, my problems with it were were more about me than the mod, um, and um, and more uh, sort of uh, more importantly, I found that the old node controller actually, which it doesn't get updates anymore, has some issues with uh, some stuff resetting. Uh, there are you have to update some nodes uh, for the slope to work uh, properly on each load, and that was getting a bit annoying. And uh, I thought it was just a sort of a, a bug that happened sometimes, but it seems to be happening happening much more frequently than I thought. So I'm I figured out a way to use. I, I I've been going in and like testing, um, and asking friends like, oh, how do you do this in node control? How do you do that? And uh, and eventually I've been taught uh, how to do many other things, so that's like one of the greatest things about Discord. I, I just asked my Discord friends, uh, hey, how do I use this mod help? And uh, I got the perfect help. That's just such an amazing thing to be able to do. Uh, yeah, join the Discord. <laughs> <coughs> excuse me, excuse me. If I remember where these coughs are, I'm sorry, I'll try to go back and remove them from the recording, but I might forget, and if so, I am terribly sorry. I need to work on my voice. My voice. Yeah, and here I'm actually moving that um, garbage. Yeah, now we're, now it's happening. We're, we're get making this sort of loop a bit bigger and uh, getting the, f the recycling center back in there. And... Um, I just needed to have it functional. I just wanted to see it work and uh, I mean kind of and for that we needed to move the whole thing a little bit towards the water so to be honest like this felt like it took ages when I recorded this but like when I mean I guess speeding it up 400% or if it's 350 um, I don't quite remember does does wonders um, let me know if you think the the time lapse is too fast or too slow um, I'll try my best to sort of ad adjust uh, my commentary towards how how fast and slow the time lapse is uh, so 
Oh, and here we're adding the containers back in because these are important for the, the aesthetic. And I'm adding like a lot of uh, piles of uh, uh, dirt and like even using some surface painter to paint around. Like it looks really good and some decals. Um, not a lot of people know this, but there's quite a few vanilla decals and uh, uh, props that are like sort of destroyed props and uh, like rubble. If you search for pile uh, using find it mod. I think that they might be part of the natural disasters DLC and like sort of rubble from like destroyed buildings and stuff like that. But there's, you really don't need, uh, I remember back in the day when uh, it was very, very cool to get uh, large packs of, uh, uh, I guess, rubble and uh, and and dirt and, and soil and, and stuff like that and detail with that. But there is quite a lot of that in vanilla. You can repaint using the prop painter mod. Uh, which still works, by the way. I still have a prop painter mod in my game. Uh, it, it's very old, but it does still work with prop control and all the other stuff, uh, the modern mods. So. And here is about the time when I realized maybe I should make this a uh, oil industry. <laughs> maybe we should make it an oil industry. And uh, and you see. What has to happen? Stuff has to move even more. <laughs> we have to move even more stuff. Uh, I'm happy about the decision. I'm really happy about the decision because it makes... Uh, it does really make that, what, that sewage treatment plant uh, less square, less rect rectangular. So I think it's a really worth, worth upgrade. Um, for that alone, to be honest, that that uh, main building is look, just looks really good. This is what I meant. You shouldn't get too attached with anything I built because it's all like moving around a little bit until until the end of the video uh, when we sort of find something that's uh, that fits. Yeah. Ah, that's nice. I like creating these weird dead ends. Actually, I think I deleted it also. Yeah, yeah, that's that's more like it. I like the shape though. <laughs> uh, I'm a little bit worried that I'm getting too close to the water here that I might actually like screw up the water flow and like it might look a bit too close for realism, but I think so far we're fine. Um, yeah, here I'm playing and see if, can I add one more building and make it look interesting? Nah. We'll add more sewage treatment if we have to. Uh, uh, hopefully we won't have to. Hopefully we can just increase the budget and that's going to be fine. To be fair, I think that should be enough, actually. Increasing the budget eventually. And I'm playing around with like just mixing road types and making it a bit more sort of complicated and messy. And uh, I like how it turned out. Uh, might be some room for improvement still, but... Um, oh, yes. I should talk about this. You see that thing to the left of the screen right now? That's called the Dev UI. It's enabled by a Steam Workshop, uh, or a Steam, uh, Steam Game uh, launch command thing. Uh, launch setting. You basically type in, like, I think it's... Uh, I'll, I'll put it in the description if I remember. Uh, you, you can search it up like enable enable dev UI city skylines um, it gives you all these sort of very neat options for uh, doing things that otherwise would be painful like upgrading the industry area like I don't know any other mod that does that so this I used that mod there to instantly upgrade the industry area to the final level so I can see how the building looks when it's fully upgraded um, so I plan to I would have upgraded this anyway for efficiency and, and stuff like that so I just wanted to know how it looks so I don't sort of accidentally intersect it with some other building and stuff and now starts probably my mo biggest struggle in this video to be honest which is figuring out a way to place the the petrochemical uh, industry or the the plastic producing industry uh, buildings which was such which was such a huge pain um, I couldn't like aesthetically find a way that I liked uh, for the longest time. I eventually do uh, manage to to sort of get it in in a very 
in I think a very neat way. I make it look like a part of a of that household plastic factory complex. But like this, and nothing like this is staying. You see, I'm, I'm panicking. I'm zooming in. I'm zooming out. I'm getting crazy. I'm like pulling my hair. I'm like, no, this is it's all for vain. I'm, I'm, I'm like thinking, should I, should I abandon this city and make another city on a, with a, based around a petrochemical plant so I can get it in that way? I mean, it's, it's not that the assets are bad. It's just that they're very hard to. Um, they're very hard to sort of fit into this area, I think. They have a lot of chimneys, they have a lot of pipes going around. Uh, they, they don't m m match the French countryside vibes uh, that well. Um, so yeah, that's, that's basically the struggle you can see me doing here. I figure that large petrochemical plant the, the, one, the larger one I placed just now is a bit too big. It's just not gonna work. And there I accidentally deleted the house and I had to copy it, copy and paste it back from somewhere else on the map because I felt so bad. I'd been, move, I'd been moving it all uh, like for the whole video and then like finally it just got deleted and I had to get it back. Uh, I don't know. Um, yeah, while I'm struggling with that, I can I can talk about the name of this district. I I figured the name L La 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 Industrie. I don't know how to pronounce that either because I'm stupid, of course. But it should it's supposed to mean the industry, and I think that's a really fitting name for an area like this uh, because it is very much like so far the industry of the city is like has. This is probably going to be the largest industrial area on the map. I'm pretty sure it will be. There's not a lot of other options, I think, but it's definitely definitely going to be more an industry. But this is going to be the main one. And um, La Industrie also kind of uh, reminds me a little bit of La Défense. La, Déf La Défense. Défense. Oh my God. Yeah, the pronunciation, of course, uh, which is a part of Paris, uh, famous for like the. Um, the modern Arc de Triomphe, like it's it's the, the skyline, the modern skyline of Paris, like at the far end of Champs Elysees. Uh, uh, that's basically lot 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 of fonts. So I don't know. It, it just felt like a cool name, and I like it. So for once, I managed to be creative and, and figure out a name. Uh, let me know what you think about it, though. If you have any better names, like suggest. Uh, absolutely. I like the idea of the industry. I don't know. That's 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 cool. Um, here you can see me starting to get into that. Uh, I, I'm trying to create this uh, oil and plastics plant, like a very very compact oil and plastics plant, using a total of three buildings, uh, and placing them very closely together so that they look connected, and also very close to the, the the household plastic factory so it looks like it's a part of that factory rather than a separate thing and i think that's the the big game change and also lowering it down a little bit uh, terrain wise so it kind of feels a bit like more maybe safe or tucked away or like a bit um like, I'd imagine if there was a big explosion on this place, like, having it, like, sunken into the ground is safer than having it, like, be on top of a hill. And also it's less visible by lowering it down a little bit, so we won't see it from as far away. It's kind of... I don't know, I, I felt this was my biggest stroke of genius in this episode, and it's also my biggest struggle trying to figure that out, so... And this is about... At this, at this point I decide that, yes, there is going to be an oil area. I, I go back and forth deleting the oil buildings and now I'm putting them back in again. Now it's it's sort of finally coming together for me. Um, and so is, I suppose, the video. It's like approaching... Uh, maybe it's like a... How many more minutes could it be? Oh my god, that's, that's going to be hard to measure. It's like maybe... Seven, eight minutes left or something like that. Yeah, something something like that. Um, yeah. Just final touches. 
putting in more warehouses, deleting more warehouses, figuring out the slopes a bit. Some of these parking lots, when, when building on like slopes, the parking lots can bother me a lot and um, I have to sort of play around with terraforming and like rotating buildings and stuff like that to make it look more decent. Um, I think once we get to the main town, I'm going to have to abandon this because it's going to be way too painful if I try to do this uh, when we get really, really dense buildings. Uh, we're just going to have to accept that some parking lots will be very, very bad. <laughs> yeah, I also built like that small shop, um, like I imagine it's like a Lidl or something like that on the near the roundabout. Let me know what you think about that. I, I love... I love building small things like that, like small shops with parking lots and like even a small gas station. I guess I love building gas stations. This is the second episode in a row. Like it's the third episode. I did gas stations in the first episode as well. I just completely forgot about it. It wasn't as detailed as the second episode, but um, let me know what you thought about the second episode. It's a little bit shorter, but it's a little bit less as slower paced as well. Uh, doesn't really happen that much compared to this or the first one but i really liked making it anyway and uh, it's like it's an important step on progressing like now everything between uh that gas station and this industry area is like basically completed like we don't i don't have any massive plans to build anything between uh here anyway so Yeah, I go back and forth and I don't know if these are the final trees. I, I might actually go back after the game crash and fix uh, and do different types of trees here. I don't quite remember, but <clears throat> oh, it's good the video, video is uh, <laughs> about uh, getting close to the end because I, my voice is completely breaking down. I don't know. Does anybody have a good trick for that? How to talk for a longer time? I should know. I used to... I used to, I mean, I, I, I've streamed a lot to Twitch. I, I should be able to talk for much longer than I than I am, so I don't know. I don't know what's up with that. It's a bad sign. I'm just getting old. Uh, here I'm using a pedestrian path to connect these parking lots, which is like, just a small detail that I like to do, I guess. Uh, doesn't have to be there, but... Oh, and I'm using the market stalls from... Uh, I forgot about this. Like these small market stalls outside of a shop um, from, uh, I believe they're from Green Cities. Yes, La Industrie. Uh, this is me, this is me trying French, by the way. This is me trying French. This is what I called it. And then I Google it and then, yeah, this is how it is. <laughs> uh, I, I, that was too funny. I had to keep that in. Uh, I, I also kind of forgot that it was, it was in. But... Yes, and now you can see me use the, the node controller, uh, the new node controller to make this roundabout, and it's really, really, really nice. Uh, I, I, yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I'm uh, converted. I have been woolalooed to the new node controller. I think uh, as long as it let me do complicated rail stuff, I am, uh, I'm all in for it. So. Here I'm playing around with offsets, and I'm trying to make this roundabout a bit asymmetrical. Um, I'm making this roundabout smaller than other roundabouts I've made so far on the map, because now I can use mods to make it uh, make it work, uh, uh, which is a, which is kind of uh, makes things a lot easier. Uh, that means you can make it smaller, like use TMP to to have it function. Here I'm using the the copy paste thing to copy and paste. Uh, the IMT markings. You just have to do it on one entrance and then it's just if you have the same kind of road situation going into roundabout you just copy and paste and like that's that's just so quick. It's so quick to do roundabouts like let me know guys if you want like a mini tutorial on like round just roundabouts or maybe a massive tutorial on roundabouts to be honest. I could probably talk for an hour about different ways to make roundabouts. Um, I like to make roundabouts asymmetrical so that it's it's like slightly different geometrically going in and going out of roundabout. So that's something I could talk about definitely half an hour probably. So <laughs> um, yeah, just going back here, adding some fences. This is after the game crashed on me. So this is very, very close to the end. Um, so I actually redo this uh, off, off camera, I guess. 
hopefully that that crash will be a it's it's not a super common occurrence <laughs> but i've heard a lot of friends have crashes with their games recently so maybe it's just some kind of unfortunate mod update that did something uh, and i don't know uh, using some surface painter here to connect buildings, use some fences, going in and removing the, the crosswalks that are unnecessary, that are like, we just sort of clutter the area a bit too much. Using the node control with that, uh, that plus sign is just such a incredible feature. <laughs> Uh, I can't believe I've gone so... I, I can't believe I slandered this mod in the first episode so hard just to completely uh, turn around and uh, and transition to a, to a, to a die-hard fan in episode 3. That's that's kind of hilarious. I didn't expect that. Um, yeah, here I'm... Uh, I didn't remember it was the last thing I did. I, I do... Uh, this gets lost, but I redo it uh, in a very similar way. Fixing the fire station sort of lot and just adding some destroyed buildings. I'd imagine like, or some destroyed cars. Just, uh, I'd imagine like they practice maybe opening car doors and stuff like that using power tools and stuff like that. I don't know, some small practice area for firefighters. Um, something I like to do. And here I accidentally delete that thing, uh, and I have to redo it. But this is where the crash is coming up. So the crash actually sort of is a blessing in disguise. I didn't. I mean, I did redo it anyway, but ah, whatever. Anyway, guys, I hope you liked this episode. It's uh, it's been um, oh my god, it's been so long. I, I I'll yeah, I hope my voice gets better for the next one. Uh, if you liked the video, still, uh, I guess like and subscribe, and I'll see you for episode four, uh, where I've got something special in store. So oh, I'm so excited for that one. I am so excited. See you guys next time. <laughs>